वेलकम टू माई क्लास डियर स्टूडेंट्स आर टूडेज टॉपिक इज द फॉर एंड द क्वेल्स द वर्ड फॉर मीन्स अ हंटर अ पर्सन हु किल्स एनिमल्स आर बर्ड्स फॉर फूड एंड द वर्ड क्वेल्स मीन्स स्मॉल बर्ड्स इन इन हिंदी वी कैन कॉल बटेर डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज वेरी ब्यूटिफुल स्टोरी विच गिव अस अ ब्यूटिफुल मॉरल लेट्स begin this beautiful story uh, with the text from the book once upon a time there lived a quail in a forest he was the head of many thousands of quails a fowl who caught quails came to that place he used to imitate the note of a quail till the birds had been drawn together Dear students, in this story, there uh, lived a leader quail in a forest, and along with this leader quail, there lived thousands of quails. And you know what happened? After few days, there came a hunter, means a fowl, who caught the quails, and he used to imitate the note of a leader quail. and what happened whenever he used to imitate the note of leader quail to all the birds came together and this you know this hunter took the benefit of this he flung his net over them and whipped the sides of the net together so as to get them all huddled up in a heap then he crammed them into his basket and sold his prey for a living before going home dear students this a uh, fowl means a hunter used to imitate the note of leader quail and you know when he imitated and produced the same sound as a leader quail produced all the birds came together he took the benefit of this and flung his net over them in this way he caught all of them in his basket and sold them before proceeding to homes in this way he earned his lovely hood now one day the leader quail said to other quails this fowl is creating havoc among our kin's folk i have a device whereby he will be unable to catch us Dear students, no one day you know what happened. The leader quail said other quails that this fowl is creating havoc. Do you know what is havoc means? Havoc means confusion among all kin's folk. It means among all the quails. So he uh, he said that he had a device means he had a trick whereby uh, the hunter will not able to catch them. hence for the very moment he throws his net over you let each one of you put his head through a net and then all of you together must fly away with the net to such a place as you please and there let it down on the thorn break this done we will all escape from our several meshes very good said they all in agreement this when you know what happened there after when the leader quail told his trick to everyone uh, he he simply told them that whenever the hunter will flung his net over you you just put your head outside the net and all of you together must fly to such a place where you want to be in this way you will all escape from this and all agree with this on the morrow when the net was cast over them they did just as the leader quail had told them they lifted up the net and let it down on a thorn break escaping from underneath dear students now that you know what is morrow means morrow means the next day what happened the net was cast over them by the hunter but they did the same as the leader quail had told them and they all escaped by using this trick while the fowl was still disentangling his net evening came on and he went away empty handed on the morrow and the following days the quails played the same trick so it became the regular thing for the fowl to be engaged till sunset disentangling his net and then went home empty handed 
dear students you know what happened while the fowl was still uh, busy in disentangling his net it means separating his net uh, you know evening came on whatever he did he didn't get anything and he always went home empty handed the next day and the following days the quails played the same trick as told by the leader quails so it became a regular routine now and the uh, you know what the fowl to be get engaged he remained busy in separating the net and in this way all the quail escaped from this dear students you know what happened there after Thereafter, his wife grew angry and said, "Day by day, you return empty-handed. I suppose you have got a second establishment to keep up elsewhere." It means that now his wife doubted on you know on the uh, hunter. He said that you are not bringing home uh, anything from so many days. I am just uh, doubting that you may giving this money to someone else. You have a second establishment to keep up elsewhere, and the, in this way, you know, he just got angry.